I grew up in the Norfolk Chesapeake crowd in Virginia. I've loved growing up in the church. It's where I've met my friends. I've always felt welcome there. It's like my second family. When I was in middle school, I wasn't serving the Lord. So I didn't have that connection to the Lord that I did when I got sanctified. And I, I definitely like pushed him off. It's this disconnect when you have when you don't know the Lord. When I went to the altar and the Lord called me, it was sophomore year of high school, and the Lord had been working on me for a very long time, and I'm, I had been under conviction for months. And the week before I went to the altar, I had a friend die. She took her own life, and I remember just praying. And that's when you really start the question where you don't know where you're going when you die. And I kept praying for her family, and I kept singing this song, I want to stroll over heaven with you. We were at our Shingatig Island service. I was under very heavy conviction. The Lord was working on my heart, and I was sitting on the very back bench of that very tiny church, and they were singing, and they were shouting, and there was light. I want to stroll over They started that song, and I came down to that altar, and I never turned back. Recently, I've been going through a lot of like confusion and just doubt, but I know the Lord's taken me through. And he sends me little reminders throughout my, my weeks and my days just to remind me that he's got this. I have a lot of anxiety about a lot of things, and I feel that's normal when you're growing up and you're deciding on where you want to go to college or what you want to do with your life. But he's teaching me how to trust him, and he's teaching me how to, that he's got it in my life, and I just have to turn it all and give it over to him. For young people, you need to talk to your parents to get wisdom. You need to talk to your grandparents because they've lived through it. My mom is a big supporter in my life. I can always turn to her, and she knows exactly what to say. And I also have my grandmother. One night at church, I was really upset about something, and she asked me if I wanted to pray. My grandmother took me down to the altar, and she helped me pray and just work through that. I truly feel that the Lord has put these people in our life to go to them and for them to be our guidance, and that's what they are. The scripture tells us, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And I, I've really taken that verse to heart. I feel definitely that I'm called to be a light through just talking to someone or giving them a little note and encouragement throughout the day or just telling them that the Lord loves them or even inviting them out to church. God, He's got it all. And He's gonna put me in the right place I need to be to continue to serve Him and to keep shining my light.